Welcome back. We're here in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen. I'm joined by Jin Lin from Tomo 68 in Naugatuck. Jin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very thrilled. We are making ramen today, and this is actually the first time I think we've made ramen really? in the Fox 61 kitchen, so I'm really excited. I'm a huge fan, so let's get started. Yeah, it's a cold day, but it's a good day for oh, ramen. very good right? day, especially yeah. yesterday. Too. I know. It's just really nice and good, cozy. Good, good. So today we're making a sumo ramen. That's one of the signature ramen from Tomo 68. So first we begin with a beef stroke rib. This is a uh, stroke rib that we use. And then we're going to season it first. Mm -hmm. All right. With some so salt. you're just seasoning it with salt? Yep, salt and pepper. Yep. Rubbing it in. Yep. Okay. So you need to get a little bit sear on this side. All right. And then we're going to cook the noodle right here. All right. Timer. One minute and 45 seconds. One minute and 45 Five seconds. seconds. That's it. Now, no more. where should people get the ramen? I know people, you know, a lot of people are more familiar with the ramen. In the instant package? Yes. Yeah. Can you we can... use that? Is there other ramen that we no, should be getting? No, uh, you should either go to an Asian oriental market mm -hmm. to get it. You know, like Adong or AAA. There's or, or a surrounding mm -hmm. Asian market you should be able to get right. it. Right. Adong is in West Hartford. And where's the other one? Uh, in Waterbury, okay. AAA. You okay. know, all right. And so this a couple is, options. Yep. So you cook the so noodle. So you put that in the boiling yep. water. Make sure while you stir it. I think this may be turned up. I think we'll want to get a little bit yeah. more of a sear of there. Yeah. This is an electric stove, so, so it's a little bit tricky. It's definitely different from the restaurants yes. that you have in Naugatuck. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be searing. Yep. And how long is that going to take? That, after you sear it, and then uh, we make a marinade broth here. Okay. With the soy base, you put the, after you sear it, you put it in here. You uh, cook about, uh, after bringing it to boil, 45 minutes, and then reduce it, simmer for at least four hours mm -hmm. to break down all the, you know, the collagen, so make it fall apart. Right, right, right. right. And then the ramen main thing is the soup. Soup the broth. is a, yeah, yes. the soul of the ramen. Yes. If you don't have a good broth, it doesn't mean anything. So what's the key to a good broth? The key to a good broth, take time. Ingredients. So you got to plan for this, folks. Yes. All the recipe, the information is on our website, so you can get it all the ingredients and the steps. So getting back to the broth, you said this is the heart of the soup. Yes. And it's the planning, you say, is key. Yes, because like for us broth, we use the uh, the bone, leg bone, mm -hmm. the chicken, the whole chicken, the chicken thigh, all the high collagen, the high fat, you right. put into the cooking. Right. And then put some uh, vegetable in there to get the seasoning up. Yeah. And that's all the That's what makes it so good. But it's also what makes it very good for you. You. Yes. This is a very healthy broth. Yes, high collagen. Yes. So it makes you more prettier. Yes, helps your skin, <laughs> helps yeah. your hair and everything. Yeah. All right, so that's searing and the uh, the ramen noodles are continuing to cook. We've yes. got that timer yes. going. So that should be pretty good on both sides. So, so then you flip it. it. And yeah. again, then what you would do is you would put, put it in, into the yeah, marinade, Yeah, you put right? it in the marinade for four hours. You know, okay. And then bring it to a boil. All right, so this is only maybe it's a two-day thing, Yes, right? two-day thing, definitely. <laughs> you you can or you started in the morning, right? Yes, we saw earlier. And then and after you've got you the take final, it out, right? Oh yes. wow, that so looks After incredible. you take it out, it should be like this piece. Mm -hmm. It's shrink. Of course, it's gonna shrink, but right. this is all the piece. All yeah, right? that looks like it's about to fall off the bone, right? Yes, Isn't it that will. what happens? Yes. And then, um, so we got all the topping. Uh, I was be prepping for the shumo. Mm -hmm. So we got the protein. We got the soft boiled egg. You know, when you it's a large egg, you heat up the water. You mm -hmm. uh, cook it for. Six minutes mm -hmm. and then shock in ice water to mm -hmm. get that gooey, lumpy type right, of egg right. yolk for the marinade egg. All right, the information on that, how to do it, steps are on the website. We want to make sure we get this plated because we're running out of time. Yes. So we want to get to that final, final product yes. of the ramen, the big bowl. Of so hot, delicious the soup one, you gotta use a big bowl. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. All right, so should be up. So as big of a bowl you have probably in your house. <laughs> Just for our sumo ramen. Sure. That's our signature. All right. All right, so first we've got the ramen, put that in there. Nope. Okay. I gotta build a base first, so okay. put the bean sprout inside. Bean sprouts. In the bottom. And then uh, we're gonna cut out this beef. Okay. Shrub rib. All right, why don't you hurry up and assemble that? I do want to have Tim, our photographer, maybe highlight some of these other ramens that you've brought over here. Now, this ramen right here, this which one is this? This is a uh, tonkatsu ramen. That's from the RMB. It's like pork belly ramen, the mm -hmm. classic pork belly ramen. And that's ramen. a specialty at your Oxford location. Yes, that is. And this here, this is an example of more of a traditional Chinese soup. Yes. This one right here. Yes. And this, you said this is going to be coming at your new location that's going to be opening in Orange. Yes, and this will be in around April. Mm -hmm. This is a rice noodle base, you know. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so we've got the meat chopped chop up. up. What right. else do we have to add? No. So basically, you build up the, you build up the. You build up the, the bowl. All right. We've got the bean sprouts oh. in, we've got the noodles. In. Oh. Oh. Too much going on. Yeah. I'll take okay. Yeah. And then once up, you put the 
So we played it with some bok choy, you know. Just make it look as pretty as you can. Yep. Mushroom. It it's all about the presentation. I mean, I think that's what it really is, and that just sort of adds to the entire experience. It yep. really does. And then mm -hmm. corn. And then you put the boiled egg at the side. And then, of course, you gotta top it with oil. All that. Meat on top oh, of it. Oh, that's so good. And again, that's just falling apart. And of course, we gotta add the broth. So why don't you bring it over here? Yep. Maybe we can. Maybe you can help me with that. There. Oh, Oops. absolutely. You know, maybe. Yeah, Should just we uh, just pour? Ooh. Ooh. But look at that. Okay, that's good. Okay. Not too much. <laughs> Don't want to add too much. Yeah. And then I like broth. I tend to add for extra broth, to be scallion. honest. I like Ooh. scallion. That looks and really good. And then the main stuff, mm. spicy. This is a homemade spicy with garlic chili flavor. Mm. This is what we. This is the so second sew of the soup. All right, Jin All Lin, right. thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This looks delicious. <laughs> it's a little hot, so I'm going to let it cool down before I taste it. I don't want to burn my mouth. But Jin, right. thank you so much. It's no been problem. great. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. It looks gorgeous. Matt.